We're back down here with Captain John Hand out of Everglades City, doing a little fishing. You got one already. Just started up and he's already got his first fish on. Captain Hand's fishing up front here on the fly. A little speckled trout looks like. Yep. Gonna be doing some saltwater, backwater, back bay. Fly fishing and some some regular fishing as well. Dang. That's a nice trout. <laughs> That's back with trout. <laughs> wow. What was that? Five minutes in? Yeah. <laughs> One much. Captain Ann just hooked up with a ladyfish that we may use for bait here later. All right, what, what are you doing, Captain Ham? Yeah, see this slick lane coming off? That means there's a current coming right down this edge. So we're going to fish that current. And there's going to fish are going to be laying in that edge waiting for bait to come by to them. Huh. All righty. All righty then. Okay, now we're fishing right on this edge, right on this current. You see this slick lane that's coming down beside this island? Yep. So we're kind of fishing, there's kind of an eddy behind there, but we're gonna fish this edge right down here because that's where the fish are gonna be laying in the edge of this current, like a conveyor belt, bringing the food to them. All righty. And uh, what about tides and temperatures? And Yeah, well, we got a kind of cool today. Water's only about 63 degrees. So it's been kind of cold weather. So we're getting down and deep fishing a little deeper because those fish aren't going to be expending a lot of energy. So they're going to be laid on the bottom. We got to get it down close to them so they don't have to move very far for it. All righty. And is there a particular tide you that you would normally fish in well, this condition? Well, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see a little bit you know, a little bit lower coming in, but we are fishing the upper part of the incoming tide. Okay. Well, we've been out here five minutes and already had five fish or four, yeah. three or four. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. I lost count, but. Yeah, I put three in the boat and lost at least two. So we're doing something right. Close they got that? Mm-hmm. We're coming back in this cove and you can see where it's slick over close to the trees, blocked out of the wind. So we're two degrees warmer than we were at the last spot we were at. So that's what we're doing. We're looking for warmer water. We're 66, little 66.5 now. And what's the difference is that going to make with the warmer water? The fish will be active and that fish will be looking for this warmer water. Two or three degrees will make a difference where the fish are located. And you can see that the wind is not moving because of the slick. Yeah, see how slick it is? Uh -huh. And then out to the right, see how the wind is make ripples out there? Yeah. And in here it's slick. In here it's nice and calm and slick. And this is a bay where, so the cold water won't flow in here and make it, you know, it'll warm up quicker. What about buried pirate treasure? Any chance of us? Yes, could possibly be some on any of these islands. <laughs> All righty. On any <laughs> given island. And we only got 9,999 more to look oh, through. That's right. And the bones fishing. Yep. He's like, ah, I know that boat. They'll release me. There he is. Something you don't see every day, guys. Everglades front flounder. Turn it around. For those of you that don't know, a flounder's a <coughs> in the boat. No, a flounder's a fish that lays on the bottom, has both eyes on both sides of his head, and they lay flat like that waiting for waiting for their bait to come by but I've caught a lot up in the chesapeake bay area and then it's similar to the halibut that they have on the pacific coast but you don't see them this far south a lot i've caught a lot in, around tampa but is this big one for down here no that's a small one okay because they they get a lot bigger but this is, it's a lot darker colored than the ones i'm used to too yeah because of the bottom here yeah very pretty fish I just take a tarpon DOA shrimp, 
hook him in a circle hook. This is a tarpon rig, uh, 6,000 Stratic, uh, Terramar rod. This, uh, this rod is designed to cast a weightless crab to tarpon. Bobby, I'm gonna pull you up in this corner. And what I'm gonna have you do is just don't, don't cast, just wait. And if there's any tarpon, they're going to be in here. But whenever I tell you to cast, what I want you to do is cast past the fish, yeah. okay? Yeah. And then hold, close the bale and hold the rod up and then swim the shrimp. See how I'm swimming it on close to the top? Yeah. Hold it up close to the top. Just uh -huh. swim the shrimp nice and slow. Uh -huh. When it gets in front of the fish, just let it drop. Huh. And if I tell you to reel it, then you lift the rod back up, reel it again, let it drop. But you want to reel it. You don't want to bring it to him fast. If you bring it up on him fast, he'll he'll blow out. Or if you hit him, or if you hit him on the head, he'll blow out. Huh. But we're looking for. We might find a laid up tarpon in here, just laying there. So we're pulling, or Captain Hand is pulling into the bay here. And the reason we're not going in there on the motor motorized is because the tarpon that we're about to go after are very spooky fish. And right now there may be a few out there, but. As Captain Han was telling me, there this bay that he knows about down here is loaded with them in the spring. So if you guys want to come down in the spring, you could. Uh, that'd be the time to come for tarpon. Way too far behind him. Oh no! No! Oh yeah! Let Easy. It... Oh, Whoa, again. man! some big ones down there somewhere you know yeah thank you you're rotten ah, you're too small don't bite that again yep a little bigger How many captains do you know that keep a pair of hemostats on deck? Don't mind at all, sir. <laughs> sorry, sir. Sorry to hold you up. Bluefish. There we go. All right, thank you. <laughs> all these ripples you can see out here. You can probably see the dolphin. There's dolphin coming up. Just straight in front of the camera here. Coming up and rolling, jumping, playing, doing tricks. Hey guys, day two here with Captain John Hand. We're gonna catch some bait. 
like we did yesterday, a couple ladyfish, and then we're also gonna try and catch a few larger species of, of fish today. So we've hit a hole, uh, one of Captain Han's top secret fishing holes. And uh, what, what we're gonna, what we're looking at here is, you can see the current change, current's really ripping through right here. And you can see kind of how the, the water's stirring at the top and it's coming around this little island right here. And there's gonna be some fish kind of hanging out down low where the bottom changes. Yeah. What you wanna do is start back here, just test it out and work the edge of that current. And you know, let it get down deep. That's a little bit heavier jig, so it'll get down deep. And just kind of bump it and see if we can pick up a ladyfish or so. So we're gonna try and do the yeah, bait up go. here, catch the yeah, bait. Good. Yeah, just work it slow. Yeah, let it bump that bottom. There you go. And then the fish are hanging out here right along the bottom yeah, change, well, right? A hole out in front of us. Okay. Yeah, got the bottom change where it comes down to a hole. Here. Lift up on him and then reel down. There you go. There you go. Whitey. Here, let, me, let him come back to me. I'll get that out. Okay. Woo. Nice little speckled trout going crazy. Nice, there you go. Just nice it, big speckled get your trout. Down. Just kind of lay it. trout. Nice trout. Nice trout. About 19 inches. Yep. 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 See if we can get him to jump again. Might be a tarpon. I don't know what else jumps. Bluefish. Pretty big bluefish if it's bluefish. Uh, snook won't jump, so they won't be out yeah, here. Snook will jump, man. Big ones come through here. It's a big one. It's oh, it's oh man, it's a shark. <laughs> nice little shark. Is it? Yeah, nice little black tip. Oh, beautiful. Are you seeing those colors, or is that my glasses? Are you seeing the iridescent colors, then? I think so. <clears throat> you gotta get real close, like get down to the edge of the water and. There you go. Whoa! He broke the line. What we call skin hooking them, it won't kill them. So we. And they'll swim away from them. Let me pull up the beard because you can't. I gotta get it real close in order to see it on camera. So we skin hooked this uh, ladyfish. Gonna use it for bait and hooking it on the side like that. Notice how he didn't hit the lateral line, it won't kill it. And we kept this, we caught this ladyfish and kept it for bait. See if anything comes up here. We're out here on a natural coral head in the Everglades. Oh dang, the reel just came loose. The reel just broke off. The, the, the housing broke. Yep, big sail cat. Big the housing broke That's on the reel. The oh, at the last minute. <laughs> Not a catfish. Whoa, man! Oh. That's a big old shark. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Take her and run. Good thing you got your dad out of the way, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Did you see him come up? Yeah. That's a big shark. <laughs> All right. Well, me and Bobby might as well eat a snack. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you're going to be here a while. I'm going to be fighting this thing for like 30 minutes, so probably turn the camera off and save the battery. Just get up close, yeah. Just turn it off so it looks, yeah. Yeah. We'll catch back up in about 30 minutes. <laughs> <clears throat> so big it broke the reel reels flapping all around there but we'll still get them in <laughs> Sam, get that camera as close as you can to where he's coming up there you go oh yeah see how he's all scarred up yeah Woohoo! 
Pretty cool. There he is. Alright. He doesn't want to play. Big, beautiful black tip. Grab a spin and drop the leader, and then we just. I don't know, can you get the. Here's the pliers if you want to cut the line. Or... Yeah. Alright. I'll cut it with my neck knife. Okay. <clears throat> Pull it tight. Big, beautiful, look at this shark. Oh, big baby. <laughs> Pork chops on the hoof here in the Everglades. We don't need a refrigerator. We just keep them on the hoof until we're ready to eat them. Little tiny piglets, big piglets, all sizes, all shapes. Look at all them little ones. That mom was watching us too. Oh yeah, you go over there and mess with them if you want yeah, to. Yeah, you don't want them squeal when you pick them up. Uh-huh, see what happens. And now for some drone footage. Oh. I've been bullied, I've been beat down Told I wasn't good enough Been rejected, I've been cast out Never more desperate for love There were days that I wanted to die Just let go and give up the fight Save your words and all your weapons Cause I've heard it all before You can try but you're never gonna break me down No, you're never gonna shake my ground Cause I've already been through the fight And now I'm standing strong No, I don't care what you're thinking But it's nice to prove you wrong I will give everything that I've got It just might shoot me 